Welcome to Rusi Fail. So after dying at the end of last week's episode, I respawned straight back in. It's the middle of the night. I'm not sure where I am. It's pitch black. I've boosted the footage as best as I can, uh, but just stick with me. It does get brighter soon, I promise. So I crack out a glow stick uh, just so I can hopefully see a bit better and it does the job. I don't really care that it might be a target now or that other players can see me. I've got nothing, so I've got nothing to lose at the moment. So I try and have a bit of a look around and gain my bearings um, and I notice the lighthouse up on the hill. I run up to the lighthouse and I can see some buildings in the background. It looks like I might be at Cherno, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, so I decide to go up the lighthouse to have a better look around. Once at the top of the lighthouse, I can see that there's that house just nearby. Uh, it looks really like the one in Cherno. Uh, so I'm pretty certain that's where I am. So I work my way around the lighthouse, seeing if there's any loot up here. It is pitch black, like I cannot see anything. Um, so I finally figure out that there's something up there. I pick it up. I'm now confident that I'm in Cherno. So I decide to work my way around the lighthouse some more and try and head back down the tower. It's so dark that I can't actually see the entrance to the inside of the lighthouse. So I can't get back in. I pull out the glow stick, even though I must be like a beacon now up here on top of the lighthouse. It's the only way I could find the way back in and safely get down the ladder. I know a couple of episodes ago I said it was going to be my last Cherno video, but this is just where I've spawned. Um, I'm on a new server, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm just going to collect what I need, try and gear myself up a little bit, and then head on my journey elsewhere. I make my way around Cherno, I gather a lot of fruit along the way and I also pick up a chicken which I decide to smoke. Uh, I'm already in pretty good shape, I just need to find some better clothing and maybe a gun or two and I can start heading out to the hospital and then I'll be on my way. So the chicken is done, I've also got a heat buff now so I'm good to move on. I don't really have time or care about putting out the fire. If it attracts other players to the house now that I'm moving on, it doesn't really bother me. All the time spent in Cherno recently has really helped me. I know my way around the city pretty well. I know where to find food fairly easily. I know that these pear trees over here are usually a good source of fruit. And sure enough, there's a pear there. The next stop is onto Cherno PD. You know what I'm going to ask guys, you know what you need to do. So after getting all the loot that's on offer in Cherno PD, I head outside. There is a police officer out here, an infected police officer with a stab vest on that I want to try and get. I pull out my knife. But on my first stroke of the knife, it ruins. I haven't realized the knife is ruined yet. I go back and I pick it up. I can't figure out how it dropped out of my hands that I was trying to fight either. But I figure out later on that it's ruined. I 
I have come a believer that the best place for food is to be in my stomach, not in any inventory slot. So if I've got room to eat it, I always try and eat any fruit that I find now. I start to head off towards the hospital and then I suddenly realise I've left the silent scorpion in those bushes back there because my hands were full. After gathering up the scorpion again, I decide I'll have a quick duck past the C4 shed and see if it's the same on this community server or it was just official servers that seem to be spawning all the C4. So after swinging past the hospital, I decide to head out of town. The lure of Prison Island is too great for me, so I decide to head there. And on the way, I swing past Beloda Airfield. I don't know why I attempt to go to these military camps. I always have such bad luck at them. But I decide that if I'm going to do the loot run properly, I might as well give it a go. There's a little bit of loot and some ammo around. So I'm guessing that no one's been through here recently, which is a good sign. Uh, the infected didn't look like they had been too agitated either. So I decide to keep on moving after gathering up the ammo. infected out in the field so I want to try and be careful if I can and here comes some classic Rusi fire so I shot him once now my gun's empty I haven't loaded it now two of the infected are after me make that three I think we all know what's coming but I run in here I try and jump up on the pallets but either I'm out of stamina or I can't get on them when I come to I notice that there's no more infected in here or near me and I can't hear any and there's only one dead. I take that as a sign that maybe there's not any other players around and the infected have despawned. So I know it's my chance to quickly get through as much as I can and I probably won't be disturbed. head off to the western end of the airfield.
Hey, they didn't knock me out this time. Alrighty. But all their kits ruined. There's nothing good there. More ruined or badly damaged loot that I don't need. The only thing I've got so far that's any good besides a little bit of ammo. I can hear one zombie after me. And now I think there's two. There's at least two after me. I managed to escape them for now. And I've been holding the can of tactical bacon. So I decide to crack it open and have a feed while I'm here. Because I don't have any room for it in my inventory. After eating the tactical bacon, I'll try and figure out how's the easiest way to get down from here without getting killed straight away, or at least passing out again. I think I've got it this time. I should be right. I'm up here. I should be able to deal with them as they come. Except I've fallen off. Uh, and now my baseball bat has ruined as well. There we go. Crazy. And now there's an airstrike coming in. Thankfully it wasn't on my location. But I've ruined most of my clothes. Thankfully though, the infected have despawned. So I'm guessing again that there's no one near me. But it was been such a waste of time coming to Beloda. All I've done is get some ammo for some guns I don't have and ruin all my kit. So I press on to the west. I stop past my favourite little shack on the way to Prison Island. I always stop here on my way down. Good little spot. This is where I try and repair my vest but I realized that too has been ruined by all the infected hitting me so I decide to dispose of it just in case there is someone coming along after me I don't want them to see that I've been through next stop is Komarovo the town itself has been gassed so I can't go in there I get up on the roof and just see if I'm being followed at all so I do want to test this rifle out I want to see if I can see other players coming on this loot run I know there'll be no one in Komarovo because of the gas I line up an infected. And it makes quite the noise. I can hear all the infected gathering beneath me. So I don't want to rush down there straight away. Next stop, Prison Island. That's where I want to go. I have a quick scope out to see if I can see any other players making their way to or from Prison Island, but it is quite a long way away. With the coast looking clear, time to head off to Prison Island. done a full video on Prison Island and why I think it's the best place to get loot. 
um, and this visit doesn't disappoint either. I managed to get into the barracks, they're full of loot, there's so much stuff here. I don't even know why I went to Belota, I should have just come straight here. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. If I'm ever near Prison Island or spawn on the south coast of Generous, I'm just going to head straight to Prison Island and load up on as much kit as I can out here. It's so much easier and the loot is so much better. I won't bore you with all the details. It was fairly uneventful here on Prison Island, but I did get masses of loot um, and a couple of new guns, which is great as well. There was no sign of other players here. Um, I'm so coming back to Prison Island. The curse is real. So as you can see, after going to Belota and ruining all my gear at Prison Island, I've redeemed myself. I've got more gear than I know really what to do with. I'm probably carrying too much. But I've got everything back that I lost at Belota and more. If you ever spawn in Cherno, do Cherno, head to Prison Island, head inland. That's all you need. You'll never need anything else. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Thanks again to all the new subscribers and all your comments. It really does mean a lot. And uh, it is inspiring me to continue making videos. So I hope you continue to enjoy them. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.